Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 11.06 a.m. on Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Tomorrow, Wildberry bids a fa fond farewell to our dear friend, Biddy. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and good morning, and welcome back to Wildberry Island, where we had a series of shocking events happen last night, including... Biddy deciding that she was going to pack up and move away. I couldn't believe it. I know that we were just talking about how maybe she wasn't the best fit for our island and she was here to compete with Abel, the Abel sisters, and then Label showed up and it was like a high fashion, high drama, especially considering we decided that Julian is running his own fashion line based around astrology and expensive clothes. And then last night, you guys, out of the blue, Biddy actually came up to me on the beach and said that she was thinking about moving away, which had my jaw on the ground. And I'm gonna admit, I actually felt kind of guilty for, you know, mentioning that she probably wouldn't stick around our island for very long. But then something very interesting happened. So if you guys remember, yesterday we found out that Biddy is actually a fashion designer in her own right, and her entire home was dedicated to displaying different fashions and showing how she was trying to craft new items. Well, last night, after she told me she was leaving, I actually caught her standing right next to the town plaza, staring at Label for a long time. She was there for like an hour holding a little microscope and she was trying to pretend like she was looking at the cherry tree, but for an hour she kept glancing between the cherry trees and looking at Label. So my friends, I think Biddy is indeed leaving us, but in a surprising twist of events based on the role play we were doing yesterday, it seems that she's actually moving away to join Label in working on Label's new fashion line. I think she may have heard Label talking about how she had all this experience working with Gracie, the fashion designer in the past. Gracie the giraffe, for those of you guys who don't know, who is in the Animal Crossing world as a high fashion designer in the big city. And I think that Biddy actually was like, hot dog, I'm joining in. This is a fashion line startup that I want to be part of. And she's moving tomorrow, just like that. <laughs> I, I thought that was amazing. I couldn't believe that our little role play and the fact that Biddy was the villager who were like, I don't know if she fits here on a wild island. Boom, she is actually moving away. And she, we're going to say she's moving to go become part of Label's business. They're going to go start their fashion startup in the big city. <laughs> so that bit of news aside, we have a lot more shocking surprises for Wildberry. So carrying on. It's hard to say goodbye, but we wish her luck on her next big adventure. Be sure to stop by for one last chat before she leaves. Maybe bring some tissues. Oh, Isabel. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. <laughs> Isabel, that was kind of amazing to have her just deadpan and maybe bring some tissues. I guess she too didn't have time to become attached to Biddy. And it'll be exciting to see who ends up moving in after Biddy moves away. <sighs> all right. So there is another huge shocking surprise that I need to show you guys down by the beach in just a second. That has to do with Julian. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. He's so sweet. That actually has to do with Julian, you guys. Oh, I already have some Nook files. What the heck? Like first thing in the morning? What? Active Island Resident. Life on the island has lots of promise, hmm? To illustrate this, I'll award you some nook miles based on the number of active days you've spent here. Please take them and enjoy them. <gasps> We're an active specialist. We have passed 20 days of adventures together, you guys. That is so exciting. But all right, so, oh, peacock butterfly, peacock butterfly. Don't get distracted too much, Siri. Don't get distracted too much, but I really need that peacock butterfly. Did I get him? Oh, there he goes. He's on the run. Got him. Come on, that's like 2,000 bells towards our wildlife research center needing to be paid off. And I haven't even expanded my house on Home Island yet. My home is just a shack compared to this. So we definitely need to start earning money here to be able to take to Home Island, which you guys will hopefully see pretty soon. But enough of that nonsense. I have to fill you in on one more big piece of drama that happened last night as I was dashing about the island. So. You guys remember yesterday, Julian was really sick, like really sick. 
So we grabbed a wasp's nest. We grabbed some weeds. We smashed them together on our little our, on our little DIY bench, and we ended up taking him some fresh medicine. And Julian, who we have decided is a extremely rich heir to a huge business that he has pivoted into a multi-billion dollar astrology fashion line that has tons of other business things that he no doubt like could buy up a whole neighborhood if he wanted to. That's what we've decided about Julian the Unicorn. Super rich, basically think of the most OP rich guy in a good anime, and that's him. Especially with his like glitter attitude. We cured him, right? And he gave us a gift to say that he was grateful that we, you know, cured him of his disease. And then last night, I'm gonna say, because Julian got cured, a meteor shower showed up. And it wasn't just any meteor shower, you guys. It was the biggest meteor shower I have ever freaking seen. Freaking seen. There were literally hundreds of stars. I sat there for an hour just wishing upon star after star. Wishing and wishing star after star fell down from the sky. And all I could think was that Julian had summoned them with his unicorn powers his dabbling in astrology it all made sense now between the two things he was able to summon the stars down celeste was delighted and there were so many stars we ended up completing the nook miles challenge to wish upon a star we went from having wished upon 22 stars last night to wishing on over 200 over 200 stars fell from the sky, all thanks to Julian. So we need to give him like a huge gift tonight. I think I might actually craft him like maybe a star piece related thing. We're gonna have to see how many star pieces show up on the beach. Um, but I'm very excited about that. So actually, let's go check the beach real quick. Oh, and there's a present that's not actually... Heckin, get it. Don't fall on the plaza. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, please be. Oh, and we learned a ton of new DIYs last night. I need to show you guys. Ooh, wingtip shoes. Interesting. I could give those to Julian. They seem like some sort of high fashion thing that he would enjoy. There, we've got his present. <laughs> but let's run to the beach and check what the beach has on it. <gasps> Starbies! Already the star... Oh, it's an Aries fragment. Oh, you guys, look. And there's another big piece over there. So literally hundreds. Oh, and we definitely need to get all of the cherry blossoms we see today. Cherry blossom season is almost over, and I used up a ton of cherry blossoms last night for something very special. Star fragment. Look at these, you guys. More star fragments. Let's go ahead and collect the seashells. We wish on over 200 stars, so I'm hoping that we'll get tons and tons of these star fragments. And apparently, the way that it works when you wish upon that many stars is that when you go in and out of buildings and search the beach, you might find more star fragments washing up throughout the day. So I'm pretty pumped about that. All right, and we, we've got to visit with Julian to be like, Julian, dude, thank you for the, the meteor shower. So I know that was a lot of story to like go through in the first few minutes here in Wildberry, but it's really important to me, guys. I can't believe that Julian did that. Julian, I can't believe that you did that. Buongiorno. That means it's going to be a great Gennorino in Italian. There's nothing like the spring on Wildberry. I'm just basking in it, Siri. I love him. Looking for a rap session with old Julian, eh? All right, let's go ahead and give him these shoes. Fancy pantsy shoes that fell from the sky. Much like the meteor shower we're gonna say he wished for us last night. You know me so well. This really pushes my boundaries in a good way. Thanks, Glitter. I don't want to be rude, but this is awesome. See, I wasn't rude. Okay, that was really cute. Glitter, what have you gotten yourself into? Have you flown in? Okay, yes, 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 thank you. All right, Julian, you're basically amazing. And even though I thought that like, you know, yes, thank you, limited edition eggs, totally understand. <gasps> More star fragments, yes! All right, we'll have to gather as many as we can, but we will search up and down the beach all day long for what I hope- Oh, <gasps> Kix is here! <gasps> this sold! Oh heck, there's so much to see. But let's do a quick star fragment search. And then I will show you guys even more important information about what showed up last night. Ooh, cherry blossom! We do have to search for every cherry blossom we can find. As you can see, my cherry blossom supply has majorly dwindled. The patrons and I actually had an impromptu meeting 
where we exchanged some gifts, a few of my amazing patrons, who I care about very deeply. Um, but we actually exchanged some gifts last night, which was really fun. It was completely not planned. Just some of us were like, hey, do you want this wall? And then we ended up meeting on someone else's island and exchanging a bunch of gifts. And I crafted a ton of cherry blossom items to share with everybody who hasn't had a chance to get those recipes yet. As a result, we are gonna have to work really hard, you guys, to gather as many cherry blossom recipes as we can, or cherry blossoms as we can, because I used up a ton of our recipes. Look at all of these. There's so many star fragments. Look at all these DIY pieces. This is fantastic. Here, let's go ahead and drop a few of these pieces around us. These make for beautiful large star fragment. No, no, come over here, large star fragment. I want you over here. And we're gonna pose with all of these, cause why not? And then let's see, we'll grab this one and put it behind us. The Aries fragment. No, no, behind us. You have to have it. Oh, cherry blossom! But yeah, I used up most of our cherry blossoms <laughs> in order to do our best to be kind to our friends. And it was totally worth it. I loved being able to give everybody like Sakura uh, parasols. But I realized we haven't built a cherry blossom set ourselves just yet. And we totally need to. Do I have anything I would want to wear? I don't really have any other outfit I would want to wear to show these off. So let's come on down. It's important. This is uh, maybe it's the scrapbooking jeans that my mother left me with. But literally hundreds and hundreds of these amazing fragments. Let's see. Maybe one of those was me clapping. Oh man. <laughs> That's really hard to get a picture of clapping. Um, let's see. Surprise? Surprise would be a good one. Alright, let's actually do this. There we go. Yeah, my mom used to run a, scrap run a scrapbook store, for those of you guys who don't know. And it really deeply imprinted on me how life-changing it can be to really keep track of all of your pictures and to really respect those memories. There we go. All right, and let's check what these DIYs are, and then I will show with you guys what some of the other DIYs we learned are. We already know all of the, the bunny day balloons, so don't need to worry about that. To the reader of this message, this new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in the novel I'm really I'm reading right now and really enjoying. I've entrusted my recipe to the sea in the hopes that someone makes it. It's simple if you have the parts. From Vesta, the handicrafts lover. Extra uh, log, extra long sofa. Thank you, Vesta. Vesta's a really, really sweet character, so I'm really excited that we found something from her. What a day. Oh, that's a really cute sofa. You have to have two log sofas in order to go ahead and get it. Also, what did I get Nook Miles for? Oh, pictures. Gotcha. We have almost 50,000 Nook Miles. I think if I continue to feel better, because my health is finally on the mend, it seems. Um, for now, I have to be very careful with pacing myself, because my health is a little wibbly lately. But, if it continues to be on the mend, I would- oh, my beloved chips is online. I would very much love to actually- oh, why can't I get cherry blossoms? Love to do a stream, and we could visit a whole bunch of islands together. Because we have so many Nook Miles. I heard you, Balloon. I don't see you, though, Balloon. Cherry Blossom, get down here! Get down here! Okay, we'll worry about that later. We still have a lot of things to, like, poke at and to look for and to go through. So let me put that away. Ahem! But alright, so where were we? There's going to hopefully be hundreds of these star fragments that are going to wash up on shore over the day. We already have a whole bunch. I'm hoping that even more will start appearing because holy cow, I wished on literally over 200 stars. I hear you. Oh, it's just an egg balloon. We're good ignoring that. Oh, and look at all of our flowers grow. Yay, we're gonna have so many hybrid plants. I'm so excited. All right, don't get distracted, Siri. But that's fantastic because let me show you guys something that Celeste actually gave us, which just made me think completely about Julian last night with the new DIY recipes we got. The starry sky wall. Look at how cool this is. 
we got the starry sky wall which is the exact thing that julian actually has in his room and so we're actually going to create a brand new room dedicated to rare treasures that we will dedicate in julian prince julian's honor so I'm very excited to craft the starry sky as well. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. I also managed to get three balloons with cherry blossom recipes. One for the blossom viewing lantern, which is so beautiful. One for the Sakura wood wall and one for the Sakura wood flooring, which is also extremely beautiful. And when I was visiting with one of our wonderful villagers, it was Ursula again, she taught me how to make the brown herringbone wall. And when I was visiting my friend Backlogs Island last night, Roland, a penguin villager that he has there, taught me the tulip surprise box. Isn't it so cute? It's a giant tulip. We're definitely putting that over in the flower market that we're going to be building. So a lot of really amazing DIYs, a, a, just an amazing night of wishing on hundreds of stars we ended up having biddy actually decide to leave <gasps> look at how cute everybody is everyone's so cute oh my gosh we're doing yoga over here other people are walking around with their ridiculously cute little bags ursula's walking around i need to get more presents for everybody we still need to have like a special sakura day maybe that'll be later this afternoon i have a. Uh, some mod packs to work on for a completely not blocky game <clears throat> later today, but I, I just want to tend to our adventures here on Wildberry so much. All right. This is so cute. Oh, hey Ursula, good morning. Glad I caught you. I got a lantern that I didn't really need. Oh, that's perfect for our, like, our hiking trails, actually. This isn't weird, is it? I mean, you could pawn it off on someone else. I just thought you could use it. Ursula, you're so sweet. I totally... Oh! Quick, quick! It looks like Cranston's leaning against Sky. <gasps> Look at her! Do you guys see how cute this is? Cranston and Sky Supporting each other. They're so cute. Do it again. Do it again. That was so adorable, you guys. <laughs> they were leaning head to head. Oh, they're going to become best friends. Sky Cranston, I love you too. Please never leave me. I love them. I hope I have their amiibo cards. So if worst comes to worst, I could bring them back. Oh, another balloon that we need. That could be some of the final Sakura Blossom recipes. All right, let's check what's inside this one. That's the tricky thing. We don't want to ignore all the balloons because, ah, it's just clay. Because it could be something we need, but still. But all right, Kix is actually here. We have not met Kix before. Uh, so should I check the mail first? We're going to go ahead and check the mail first. And then we are going to talk to Kix, who's a really cool skunk. Oh, Biddy. Why, hello, Sari. The gift you sent is very generous. You won't get it back, darling. Reading your postcard, well, it made me cheer up. I swear, these things get me every time. Well, I just might write again soon. Sincerely yours, Biddy. Oh, thank you, Biddy. Um, like, she... But I sent her a present, like, as a welcome gift, but I, I guess she's just like, that's all right, darling. Label was here. And look at the letter from Label. And I am totally going to move away. So that's so ironic that Biddy really is moving away. I'm so tickled by the natural story that is just emerging from our beautiful and amazing world. Two Siri. You were very helpful the other day. Uh, you were very helpful the other day. Here are two tailor tickets as a thank you. You can exchange them for items 3,000 bells or less at the tailor shop. Enjoy from Label. Yay! All right. So Label, I think, does have a bit of a relationship with her sister. And I think that Label and Biddy are totally partnering up. And Julian? Do my favorite influencer? That's a little too on point. <laughs> a gift for moi? Why, thank you. The funny thing is, I had a Primo present already picked out for you, too. Put it in heavy rotation, okay? Always, Julian. Guys, I think Julian has, like, become one of my favorites. I just can't believe him. Alright, we've got two Taylor's tickets that we can use today. And... Julian! <laughs> Julian! He gave me sticky rice for my face! What kind of comment is that from Fashion Conscious Julian? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know how to interpret that. That's hilarious. 
I'm gonna give it to Cranston. Because we already have some sticky rice that I got from an I from my friend's island. Alright! You guys, it's Kix! Kix is here! Welcome. Well, well, what do we have here? Haven't seen your face before. The name's Kix. You might already have guessed, but I am the source for shoes, socks, and bags around here. I swing by this island once weekly. I look forward to seeing you around, you chum. Alright, alright. If it's alright with you, why not take a look through at my offerings on this fine day? All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and see what he's got. Uh, he's got ballet slippers, really? Oh my gosh, so I think he might sell things that maybe the Able Sisters don't like. <gasps> like these bags. Oh my goodness. A little evening bag. I love the mini pleather bag. I love how it's never leather. It's always pleather. Much more environmentally friendly and, and kind. There we go. All right, well, we're definitely gonna buy that because that's way cute. Thank you, Michum. Uh, let's see. Crossbody Boston bag, hard shell backpack, evening bag. Oh, and there's just butterflies flying past us. That's so cool. Pleather crossbody bag. Um, this looks like the. We'll get the crossbody Boston bag. It looks like something that you would expect to have a lifeguard wear. So it might actually be fun to leave down by the beach, like with a little lifeguard spot for the summer. Um. The evening bag is kind of cute. The pleather crossbody bag might be good for our hiking, actually. So I'll go ahead and buy that one. There we go. All right. So hopefully we've started making... And you know what? We'll buy... Oh, I could give the um, fancy bag maybe to Puddles. Um, we'll grab this evening bag, too. And then, of course, every bag we buy, we'll go ahead and make it so that we'll be able to get more of these in the future because it'll be part of our catalog. All right, thank you very much. Much obliged, Kix, that was awesome. All right, so what did we just complete? Oh, it was spending money. Man, I have so many Nook Miles, this is ridiculous. Guys, today is amazing! I love everything about this. I love watching Skye and Cranston as they're taking care of things. We still have Annalisa who has just moved in. Um, gosh. Oh, look, and there's more star pieces. Sure enough, there are more star pieces washing up on shore. Oh my gosh, we're going to be finding so many star fragments all day. I can just tell. This is going to be amazing. This is just going to be absolutely fantastic. All right, so today is definitely... I, I, I'm just in love with Julian right now. I, I just love everything about him. He's ridiculous, but he's also cool. Let's see what Biddy's up to since she's moving away today. And then we need to go see who actually bought the other plot. We have another random villager moving in. Hey, Benny. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you decided to come see me before I head out tomorrow. I'm excited, of course, but I'm still a bit reluctant to leave my comfortable life here on this island. You were here for literally less than 48 hours, Biddy. But you know what they say. You should do one thing that scares you every day. Hopefully this counts for at least a week. Well, it's not long now before I say goodbye forever. I suppose it does make me a bit sad. Chin up, Biddy. There are new adventures to be had. <laughs> I don't think Biddy is too terribly sad about leaving, but you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll take a, a, a last minute picture with her just to, to let it be known that we appreciated her being here for however brief her adventure was. And let's see if I can get into just the right pose there let's see what about over here like waving goodbye she's just like no i'm good darling all right that was really just i think it was ironic that she moved in saw label and immediately left all right so now that we've taken care of that let's go talk to cranston well actually Puddles went back inside. Let's talk to Puddles and give her her new evening uh, little purse, because I think that'd be really cute for her. Ooh, maybe, I wonder. Puddles, she's wearing the glasses I gave her last night. Sarah, you make yourself at home, Splish. You're doing pretty fab with racking up those Nook Miles, right? Good job. I'm working on my own point totals. I want to use them to buy a recording studio, Splish. She's so cute. All right, let's go ahead. Do you want this? Let's give her the cute little evening bag. It totally would go with her outfit. 
Did you get this because you thought I'd rock it? That makes me so happy. I'm totally feeling the love. Splish, thanks a bunch, Siri. Uh, oh, and she gave us some bells in return. Thank you, Puddles. All right, so I think she's doing well. I want to give Cranston the sticky rice. I wonder if he'll actually wear it. I don't think he will, but so help me. If he just is our adorable sloppy villager who has all of his bug friends and sticky rice on his face, I am just going to like melt because that's just too adorable. All right, and actually, let's go craft. Even though I, I hesitate to get rid of a bunch of our beautiful cherry blossoms, I want to craft a cherry blossom bonsai for our new friend. Oh, Cranston, you're done with your yoga with Sky? But I want to craft a bonsai for our new friend Annalisa. Or maybe catch her some ants. <gasps> I overslept a little today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Cranston, I love you. He's just so precious. All right, let's give him the sticky rice that Julian gave us of all things. Man, this is really cool. I'm gonna try it on at home later. I'm gonna take this home and put on a fashion show for the bugs in my floor, sweatband. That's really cute. All right, so that wasn't enough for him to give us a gift. That's okay. The villagers are starting to run up to us more often and just gift us things out of the blue, which I think is really nice. Um, and then let's grab this cherry blossom. And there's actually some ants. Oh, I'm so torn. I think I want to give Annalisa a actual, like, bonsai before we give her just tons of ants. But I totally want to give her tons of ants. Do you guys know if we move her house after she moves in, if she might actually have a chance of being able to have all her items reset? Or if I just give her a ton of ants, are we just going to, like, fill up her home with ants and that's it? Hmm. The many questions I have to ponder. Uh, oh, and then last night, Sky actually gave us this con- this, like, I can't even say the word. It's a little, like, uniform for guiding people into their seats. Look at this. This is kind of cute. I don't know who I would give it to, but we'll have to figure it out. All right, let me use this. Do I have any of these bags that I would... Maybe the mini pleather bag? Let's wear it real quick to see how it looks. Okay, that's actually really cute. Do I have any of these pleather crossbody bag? The crossbody Boston bag. That is totally something you would expect a... Um... That's totally something you would expect, like, a lifeguard to wear. Maybe I'll make our good friend Ursula a bunny day backpack. Because that would be good. Alright, what do I need in order to craft Annalisa a welcome to your new home set of cherry blossom bonsais. We need hardwood and clumps of weeds. So let's gather those really quickly and get those for Annalisa. Oh, look! There's literally a ton of hardwood down here. That's really funny. All right, we just need some weeds. How many weeds? Like, not many, I don't think. We need three weeds. That'll be easy to take care of. There's one over here, one over here, and one over here. There we go. We've been so busy with our own little adventures, I haven't even had time to ask Isabel like, the, about the status of our island and what we should do to take care of it. Let's go ahead and craft a cherry blossom bonsai, which I'm very happy to do. I still want to make a bonsai room. And I definitely need to spend a day just doing bonsai stuff. So that might be maybe today if I do a double daily or tomorrow. Where we'll just focus on, oh, tomorrow, wait, what's today's date? Okay, good. We could do it tomorrow because the 11th is actually going to be, uh, the 11th is going to be very busy since that is the fishing tourney. There's so much to do here, you guys. It's just never ending amounts of awesomeness. Also, Julian, have you gotten any more? We'll keep searching for more star fragments because I wished on over 200 stars last night. So we probably should have a lot more star fragments show up. And we'll make Julian's starry room and get that going today, too. And hopefully I can find the very last of the cherry blossom recipes that we need soon. <gasps> she's crafting! Her house is so cute and she's crafting! Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm currently crafting a... <gasps> 
She just went up the list of favorite villagers. Annalise is crafting a tiny library. She's crafting a little tiny library. Just to see how to do it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Siri, want to learn how to make your own tiny library? Yes! Yes! I totally do! Annalisa, thank you! I'm so glad I made you a bonsai! I'm so glad I made her a bonsai! You guys! Tiny, tiny library! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I haven't learned it yet! It's in my pocket! No wonder I was so confused! Also, do you see the really beautiful room she has? Wow! Man, I really hope that, like, giving her a bunch of ants won't backfire on us. Hello, Annalisa! I read somewhere that the choices you make in home furnishings are based on your innermost desires. I'm a little nervous about what you'd learn about me from my home decor. I had learned that you're amazing and that I don't have a good enough friendship with you to actually be able to give you the bonsai, so I'm gonna have to mail it to you. But this is so cool, you guys! Of all of the things, the very first thing that she taught us is a tiny library. And the tiny libraries are so amazing because what they do is they're basically like free libraries. So we're totally going to be putting a ton of these all over town. We need to have three books in order to make them. I cannot craft a book. So bye, Annalisa. Okay, she's, she's potentially a permanent one at this rate. She's just so cool. All right, so we're gonna need to order some books from the Nook Stop, actually. Cranston, are you sweeping for the bugs? That's so kind. Man, I love our village. There's just always so much going on and the stories are becoming richer and richer day after day. I don't know how all of you happen to enjoy your Animal Crossing adventures, but I feel if you really invest in the story that the villagers can offer you and the little things they say and the random things you find and weave it all together, it creates such a beautiful experience. Much nicer than if you were just like, I'm just showing up to get my bills for the day. Not that there's something wrong with that too, just for me, Man, this is amazing. All right, so let's see. I could redeem my Nook Miles and get some of these things. Let's see, Park Clock Foam Box. I just wanted to take a peek at it really quickly. There's so many things we could decorate with in the future. Um, what we really need is we want three books now. So we need to come over to Nook Shopping. We'll see what's for sale today. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Forest Life? I totally want to order whatever Forest Life is from KK Slider. That sounds adorable. And then we all want to come over here. And we want to come over to the book category. And so we want to place an order for three of these books. And then tomorrow we'll be able to make our tiny library. Yay! All right. Hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on that pretty quickly. Excellent. Yay, okay, so now that's done. I'm gonna check this recycling bin because I've heard when people move out, which may be tomorrow for Biddy, you can actually find new things. And <gasps> cardboard boxes! There's a bunch of cardboard boxes! Cranston taught us some cool cardboard box recipes. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of cardboard boxes. <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of rusted parts for who knows what. Maybe you can build those into something in the future. That's so cool. I love the story of what's going on in our village, too. All right, so let's see. I've given Cranston a gift. Um, I could give Pierce, like, a peacock butterfly or something. Let's come down and see who's moving in really quickly next to Pierce. Octavian! Octavian is so cool! And you guys, Octavian is actually related to the stars! He actually has a whole bunch of like UFO theories and UFO items. So I'm going to say that the meteor shower that Julian summoned as a thank you to us last night caught the attention of Octavian, who is so sassy and, and kind of like an old grump, but he's totally into all sorts of cool space stuff. Oh, this is amazing. I am so happy. I think he and Pierce will get along semi-okay. Oh, and let's craft Ursula a, just really quickly, let's craft her a nice bunny day. Just a nice happy little bunny day backpack because Ursula is such a sweetheart. She's so patient, she puts up with so much. Water egg, stone egg, leaf egg, sky egg. What am I missing? Earth egg? Wood egg? I think I'm missing wood egg. I was missing wood egg. All right, hold your mitts up at me, will you? Gotcha. 
All right, we caught a mantis. Oh, well, there goes my net. <laughs> I'm gonna need to make another blossom basket, but we'll worry about that later. This morning has been about the stars. This morning has been about Annalisa being amazing and teaching us how to make a tiny library. This, like, look at all of the cardboard boxes. I think Cranston's taught us like three of these. <laughs> This morning has been all about Prince Julian basically being completely OP and awesome. I love him. Um, and this morning has been all about the starry sky stuff, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to craft up the Bunny Day bag. Oh, I need an earth egg right here. There we go. We're going to craft up the Bunny Day bag for Ursula and give it to her as a gift because i think that it's really fun to be able to give out gifts to all of our friends and if we see pierce i can give him one of the other backpacks that we got because as you guys saw when we ordered the books what you can do is you can just go ahead and order a bunch of the items that you need later all right let's drop the wood egg drop this drop this hmm Bunny day egg? It's moving really fast, so bunny day egg. Yeah, we won't worry about that. I'm excited for Octavia to move in. Hey, Ursula. How many times am I going to bump into you today? Hang on, am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera? No. Okay, rocks are laying eggs, that's fine. Okay, so she is excited about bunny day, so it should be okay to go ahead and give her this. This is for you. What you got? Let's see, and we crafted her bunny day bag. There you go, Ursula. Mm, I'm not sure if this is my kind of thing, but it looks so cool. Maybe it's time for a change up. I'm so stoked you thought of me. Thanks, Ari. Oh yay, ooh, she's got 3,120 bells for us. It's kind of one of those, it's the thought that counts situations, Groom. Counts bells, that is. Okay, so that actually is really cool. That can go towards helping us pay off the house. Oh, and speaking of pay things off, let's go check on that brand new incline that we actually have. Because it is built! Oh, it looks so good! Oh, this is such a relief. This is where I want to move our house, or excuse me, our wildlife research center in the future. So that's going to be much easier to be able to pop up here in Adventure. Uh, and I guess we need to add in more inclines to get up even higher. I'm not even sure what to do with some of the upper reaches of our cliff sides. But we are going to need to make ways to climb up to the last three high spots. Hmm, you can only put down eight inclines total. So we're going to need to think about that carefully. We'll think about that later. For today, let's go ahead and we're going to go back home. And we're going to, oh, 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 cherry blossom. Ah, my blossom basket's gone, I forgot. Let's plant some money really quickly. There we go. Thank you, thank you. But I think we're gonna wrap up this morning, which has been kind of all over the place with awesomeness, by going ahead and we'll go see what's for sale over with the sisters, the Able sisters, because I would absolutely love to use these tickets that we got to exchange them for something, if there's anything we really want. And then we're gonna craft up the Starry Sky Wall and the other recipes that we currently know for any of the special star stuff. And totally blame Julian for that. Sky, I love you, you're so cute. What a busy morning. I haven't had time to even improve the village. We've been so busy with people moving in, moving out. The high drama that... I'm staring at a tiger! <gasps> Pierce is in here, you guys! And he's wearing the Viking shirt I gave him yesterday! Oh my gosh, Pierce, hey! I think he likes his Viking shirt. Yo, champ, you looking for new workout clothes too? He, that's he looks so good in his Viking shirt. My clothes have to do two things. They gotta show off my muscles and they gotta soak up a lot of sweat. Oh, he looks so good in that. I'm so glad we got it for him. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna give him. Let's give him the one that reminds me of um the boss. Let's give him the Boston bag, the one that reminds me of like what a lifeguard would wear. A crossbody Boston bag. That's really champ choice. Cool. This isn't what I'd usually go for, but it's really cool, Hawkeye. Thank you. Time to flex my gratitude muscles. I want you to have this sweatshirt. <laughs> I 
wonder if it's his old sweatshirt and that's like why he's here looking for new stuff. <gasps> Look, Label's hat is here. Oh my gosh. I wonder if as we unlock the different items that Label can give you, they'll start selling Label's hats. That Label hat was designed by my sister Label. Isn't it fantastic? <gasps> they'll start selling her stuff once you go ahead and get the Label items. Oh, it looks like you've got a tailor's ticket. You can use that for anything up to 3,000 bells. It's 2,500 bells or a tailor's ticket for Label's hat. Interested? I mean, kind of. To get another hat since I gave my other one away, but I want to look at everything first. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love how adorable everything is. Let's look at this sweatshirt that Pierce gave us. <laughs> he really did just give us like his old sweatshirt. That's so funny. There's also a tiger shirt over here. Boots. A little workout outfit. And they're selling labels of, like clothes. I swear that's why Biddy left. Because she was like, I can't compete, but I'm going to join the startup. Still, I love these Viking tops. I kind of want to get another Viking top so that we can have a cool fishing outfit. Um, and I mean, I might as well since, you know, we've got the ability to do that. There's also a tiger face tea dress, <laughs> which is interesting of a choice. There's another color. Oh, there's a whole section of label hats now. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can't wait to see more of what she has to offer. This is terrifying. There's a no mask. That is terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then there's also a ski mask if we want to rob a house or something. Lacy socks, running tights, lace up boots, Mary Janes. Okay, that's hilarious. The only thing that I really kind of want is another one of the Viking tops so that we can have a cool Viking outfit for, for the day the fishing day, but I don't think I have anything to wear with it just yet. However, I, I think that looks like a really cool fishing outfit if you ask me. So let's go ahead, let's make our purchase. I do not want to wear what we picked out. There we go. All right, thank you, Mabel. I'm glad Pierce is having a good time. Are you seriously looking at those glasses? I already gave you a gift today though, buddy. And Sable, how are you doing? Oh, hello, Siri. You seem pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If we had just one more pair of claws around here to help out, I might be able to chat more. <gasps> it's a dig at her sister having ditched them! Oh no, not this again. Come on, Sable. You've got to stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister Label went into the world to pursue her dream of being a big-time designer. And we promised her we'd work like hedgehogs to take care of the shop while she's gone. Remember, sis? How could I forget what I've got you? But you're right, Mabel. I've got to get my I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, Siri, I can't offer a sparkling conversation, but I hope they'll stop by anyway. <gasps> Becoming the Sable sister's friend is one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. I'm so happy. Thanks, Mabes. Okay, guys. Our village gives me warm, fuzzy, happy joy every day. And I'm so happy to share all of it with you guys. This is amazing. And I think, oh, I was about to say there might be a max number of star fragments you can get after all, but they're still washing up on shore. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out. But speaking of star fragments, let us go ahead and head back over to my house. And we're gonna pop on inside. Oops, actually, I don't have any crafting table inside yet. We can fix that! Let's go to the Sakura Blossom Room! Dun dun dun! Alright, so this is the room that I actually want to transform into a beautiful crafting room where we can work on special event things. And one of the special items that we're going to put down in here is actually this adorable, cute DIY crafting table. Like, it's ridiculously... No, not the cherry blossom bonsai, though. That's relevant. Um, here, we're going to place this. Ta-da! Isn't this so cute? I really love it. It is a little DIY table that fell from the sky in a balloon. And it is a cute DIY table. I'm really in love with it. It's cute and it's pink. It has little hearts all over it. 
Normally not my style. I like cute things, but you know me, I think an ant is cute more than like hearts are cute. However, I think it's perfect to have for our cherry blossom events that we're going to be doing and for trying to de decorate for cherry blossom related things. Uh, also, let me come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the bonsai. We can always craft another one. <gasps> it's so cute. I don't wanna relegate you to the corner. Come over and stand next to me, little bonsai. I love it. Oh, and then we got an upright vacuum last night, actually. <laughs> we got this upright vacuum from Puddles, which I thought was ridiculously cute. And Puddles also gave us, you guys have got to see this because this is really cool. She also gave us a freaking shell bed. A shell bed. Why? To decorate the island so that we would be able to invite KK Slider. She wanted to put a shell bed on the island to invite KK Slider with, and I don't really know how to interpret that. However, it is ridiculously cute. Okay, that's precious. We might actually put that on the beach because that would be really cute to put on the beach. Um, but I can totally leave this vacuum in here for just a minute because, you know, we're like tidying it up, getting this place cleaned up, ready for all of our adventures. Oh, the lantern that Ursula gave us earlier, we're going to put down on our hiking trails. And there we go. All right, so now we actually have a crafting spot. And we're going to go ahead and craft. Dun, dun, dun. The starry sky wall. Let's do this. With the star fragments and the large star fragment we have. We're going to craft a starry sky wall using these beautiful, beautiful pieces. And we're actually going to make a new room where we will store the most precious and rare of all of our treasures. And it will always, always, always have the memory of Prince Julian in it because Prince Julian made this possible. So let the storm go ahead and part and let us see the beautiful starry sky. Look at that. We literally have Julian's bedroom. <laughs> Julian, who I was like, eh, maybe he'll be here a week. And now he is deeply a part of what makes Wildberry the wonderful experience that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these star fragments. Well, actually, we have a couple more things we can create now that I think of it. Oh, that's so cool. The star fragments just glittering down on the ground here. All right, is it miscellaneous, I wonder? Probably? No. Wallpaper and floor, equipment, other, craftable, seasonal. Where does one find star recipes? <laughs> Tis the question. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so let's craft the Aries rocking chair in honor of Julian like sending down all of these stars from the sky and it's going to involve one gold nugget five stones and three star fragments so let's see what we've got i should have enough for all of those things and i'm not really like super into the design of the aries rocking chair but we're gonna give it a try star fragment all right star fragment you come back we'll craft it really quickly and why not? It's a treasure. It's a pretty hard to craft treasure too. Who knows? Soon we might have a golden era Wanda statue hanging out inside of that room as well. Oh, and I'm so excited that we've got our little cherry blossom room started. Maybe if I do have time for a double daily, we might come in and work on the cherry blossom stuff. All right, here we go. Aries rocking chair. Let's do this. Who am I? to refuse the gifts from the stars above and why else are we collecting up gold and collecting these beautiful star fragments unless it is for something as noble as being able to craft gifts from the sky totally need to make our house actually look like a house but we're starting to get there all right and let's see what this cute little rocking chair looks like lantern aries rocking chair can i can i sit on it no, it's just a cute sky sheep. Okay, if we put it like this, he looks like a little sky sheep guardian. Here, we'll pull him this way. Who kind of guards? He's our little guardian of all of the star fragments and everything that we have. I love it. All right. And we can even drop the gold in here, because why not? 
And we'll just, this is just our treasure room now. All right, we'll go ahead and drop this. There we go. All right, and I guess I could like put some other things in here, but this is really freaking cool. I'm really proud about what we have started to create. So, all right, guys. There will probably be star fragments all day long for me to collect off of the beach, thanks to Prince Julian thanking us for giving him the, uh, the beautiful... There we go. Thanks to Prince Julian basically thanking us for giving him that medicine yesterday, which I think is hilarious. We have Octavian, who is actually totally obsessed with outer space and aliens, moving in because of the meteor shower that we had. We have Biddy moving away because Label actually has started to repair her relationship with the Sable sisters and sell her stuff at their shop. This is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the stories and I love the wildlife of Wildberry. And I have so much more I hope to share with you guys. So I hope you all have had a wonderful day that you are still staying safe and that you too are able to create a story that really helps you to feel in control of this very interesting world that we are in. And I can't wait to share more adventures of the villagers and of the wildlife of Wildberry with you all next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.